Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Diva Daddy. This is a safe space for Diva Stands and nobody else. And today, I'm gonna teach y'all how to dye some hair. More specifically, I'm gonna let you in on the little hair dye glitch. Not so many people know about this. Like, I thought more people knew about it. I know a lot of the car girlies do it. No, I've been seeing it spreading on Twitter. I don't know who Erit found it out, by the way. This glitch existed, I think, since 2K20. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. Before we get into this video, make sure to follow me on Twitter. That's where I post my creation content. That's where I live tweet wrestling shows. That's where I talk my shit. So make sure to follow me on there. Also subscribe to the channel if you like WWE 2K Women's content. I go live here and there a few times a week. If you wanna catch those, they're pretty entertaining. The comments go wild. So make sure to subscribe and turn on my post notifications to never miss a post because you're never gonna know when one is coming. So basically, my objective of this video is by the end of it, y'all are going to know how to give your car some detail in the hair because, let's be honest, a lot of the hair textures, especially the old ones, have zero detail in it. Like, it's just one flat color. You can't even really see strands, nothing. The newer hairstyles, so notice how, like, you know, with the weekly patches, we've been getting new hairstyles. Thank God. Compare those ones to the ones from, like, 2K15, 16, that were imported from the old games. They kind of look flat, they kind of look like clay, they kind of look like Play-Doh. Let's be honest here. So by the end of this tutorial, y'all should be learning how to give your hair some texture. All right, so the first girly we're gonna be working on is Miss Tiffany Stratton. And if you look at Tiffany, she just has a plain blonde wig popped up on her head. But if you look at Tiffany in real life, you can see she has some grown out roots. I know I remember back in like 2K16 or 17, like some of the hairstyles that they ported did carry some of the textures. I remember the Natalia wig, the Cameron wig, like they would have some grown out roots, but like overall, like they got rid of like all details from all of the hairstyles. So you have to add these details in yourself. So I'm gonna give Tiffany some grown out roots. Well, the first step you're gonna wanna do is dye her entire head the color of her hair. Because if you don't, for example, if I were to start doing her roots right away, this is what would happen. So if I were to take the same color as her hair and start dyeing it, for some odd reason, there's a black outline halo around the hair dye. Do I know why that's there? No. Do I know a way around it? No. So we are going to have to dye her entire hair the blonde of her hair. So I'll just do that. I wish the brush could be like way better. Or like there would be an option to just like, you know, dye all. And there should also be other options like a gradient tool. There should be a roots tool, but baby steps, baby steps, right? All right, now that our entire hair is dyed, here comes the fun part. So the way to do roots is, so you basically take the hair color that you just used to dye your entire head and make separate shades in the slightest increments. So go to the color picker tool and ever so slightly tap down the joystick to select a new shade like that. Like, so like subtle. So I'm gonna do it again, select a hair, then ever so subtle, boom, new shade. Anytime you wanna create a root or a grown out root look, you have to find where the hairstyle parts, separates or grows from. Other hairstyles like the Sarah Logan wig or the new Ember Moon wig that we got in one of the latest patches, those grown out roots, especially ponytails, are like from the edges and the side parts. So like that's a whole another story, doing roots for those hairstyles. But for like a side part or a middle part, doing the roots, grown out roots looks is pretty simple. Take another shade like that. So now you can actually see a darker shade being dyed. Okay, next. Eventually go until like her roots are almost black. I also wanna make note, you wanna go as close to the last area you covered, if that makes sense. So like right here where my cursor is, like this is pretty much the outline. You're gonna wanna go like right to it in order to create like a really good gradient or blend. Slow and steady wins the race. One more shade darker. Right at the perimeter where you left off. And just keep outlining that. 
when the colors get darker don't be afraid to get a little more darker because the roots are not perfectly blended right like some people when they grow out the roots it's like a harsh straight like line from where it was just dyed so don't be afraid to get a little more darker when it comes to the darker colors Now this wig's not perfect, as you can see, some of the blonde is still poking through, but you know what? Nothing in life is perfect. But just keep going until we're almost black. And boom. And that's how you do roots. So by the end of it, you should look at your color palette and see your previous is just a whole bunch of shades of your original hair dye. And there you go, that's how you do roots. So next is the infamous hair dye glitch. This really like levels up and like takes your cause to the next level. Especially if your car has a lot of different colors in their hair. If the person you're creating has a lot of different like highlights, low lights, strands being different colors, like this hair dye glitch will take your cause to the next level. So let's start off with the queen of highlights herself, Miss Velvet Sky. So as you could see, this Velvet Sky already has a hair dye job. Now, to accomplish this hair dye glitch, your car has to have some sort of hair dye job. The model that you want the hair dye glitch to be on has to have a hair dye job, whether that's a hair dye job like this that utilizes a lot of shades because that's also very important. Whatever hair dye you use, the hair dye has to consist of multiple different shades. So you know how I had that lineup of different shades on my Tiffany Stratton? Your car hair dye job has to have something like that in order for it to be like as textured and detailed as possible. So I already have my second attire booted up here, and this is the hairstyle that I want the glitch to be on. Rather that's from another car or your car that you're editing, put the hairstyle that you want on it. It doesn't have to be any specific color, no dye job to it, nothing, just a plain wig. You can go back and edit it after to match. So what I'm gonna do is go edit her first attire. So you're gonna wanna be on whatever the hair dye job is on. Go to import parts, custom, find the car that has the hairstyle you want so i picked velvet and it's on her entrance attire and then all you're gonna like this is the most easiest thing ever then all you're gonna want to do is go find the hairstyle and press import and boom just like that you look at the hair look how textured all the different streaks now this glitch since it is a glitch it's kind of unpredictable but it works for the most part and it works better than any amount of time spent using that hair dye tool because what this glitch actually does is it targets specific strands of hair on a wig so it makes hair look more detailed and textured so as you can see this is the original hair dye poking through like this is the original hair poking through and then the rest is like magic its own hair dye that's it now she's ready to let them damn pigeons loose so next we're gonna work on miss i ain't the lady to mess with herself the widow's peak freak Miss Victoria. Now, Victoria has always been the queen of having, well, not always, like at the beginning of her career, towards, I guess, like 2007 to 2009, sis really had the black hair, sickening black hair with a lot of red highlights and clip-ins and extensions and whatnot. But I'm gonna do her iconic bob. You know the bob that the girlies get right before they get from the company? Yeah. I'm gonna go and give her that Bailey bob. It's like the perfect wig for Victoria. Oh. Not already having the glitch. So now that she has the bob, I'm gonna go in now and open her second outfit and give her any random hair. Doesn't have to be specific because I'm just using this hair as a base to get the hair dye job. Okay, why does this keep happening? Not the glitch happening before I show y'all how to do it. Ow! But look, like it's cute, right? Like doing what it needs to do so i'm going to show you how to have the appropriate hair dye job to accomplish the hair dye glitch okay yeah this red's perfect so this can kind of be basically like how to do ombre as well because a lot of girlies a lot of cause have ombre hair or hair that you know fades or bleeds into another color right that's a common style so i'm going to start with this red as the lightest color and just like the hair dye roots, you're gonna wanna do little increments and create different shades of red. So I'm just gonna, once again, flick my analog stick ever so slightly to create darker shades of the same color. Flick down, boom, down, boom. Boom. 
And then eventually... I don't think you have to worry about... Okay, so you know how I mentioned that, like, annoying halo that happens when you dye hair? When you're dying to black, so when you're starting from light to... So when you're going from light to dark, you have to, like, dye the whole head. But when you're going from dark to light, so, like, if the hair growing out is dark and you're going all the way light, like, if it's black, then you have to dye the whole head. But since the hair is dark, like, you don't have to worry about that halo coming about. Why is she stuck like this? Oh my god, this is literally a glitch. Why is she stuck? <laughs> ah! When the animation freezes. Okay. Is she stuck like this permanently now? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I think this is pretty bad. Okay. So let's bounce back. You can kind of see where it starts. So like you can kind of just start making it lighter. This is kind of sickening, no? Even just leaving it as that, even though I don't think Victoria ever had that kind of hairstyle, but whatever. So now, to get the glitch, you just do exactly what I just told you earlier. So the first attire has the hairstyle we want, and this attire has the hair dye job we want in order to do the glitch. So you go to Import Parts, Custom Attire, select the one we want, Original, because that's where the hair is, the bob. She's known for the bob. The one tap. Import. Boom. Here it is. Now, as you can see, as I told you, the hair dye is unpredictable. So, it kind of looks a little chunky. But nothing a little hair dye can't clean up. So, what we're going to do is just, like, select her hair and just clean it up a bit. But like I told you, like how I explained kind of how the glitch works, it targets specific strands. Period. This does not give you 2009 Victoria? 2008? All right, so that's Miss Victoria. Now I just want to show you other cause utilizing this hair dye glitch just so you can see the power of it. So look at this Caden Carter, for example. So I took the hair dye job that was already on it and did the whole process of the glitch and added it to this Naomi wig that we got in the last patch and oh, did it ever do some. Look at this. Look at that. It makes it look like, first of all, it's not Caden's specific hair because Caden has locks. This hairstyle is not locks. But see how the hair dye targets the individual strands and makes the hair look loose and textured. Do you get what I mean? Do you get the vibe? And then after the hair dye glitch, all I did was just take the color of the brown and just dye the top of her head to make it look like it's been grown out. I'm gonna show you one more car that I utilized the glitch on, and that is Miss AJ Lee. Because we all know when AJ Lee was in her cute face hair, her hair was blonde, brown, it was blonde, brown, had all kinds of highlights and streaks, and basically I achieved that look using the hair dye glitch. Now, there's some parts that are dark, but, like, ignore those. Overall, this is kind of what her hair looked like in this era. And see how it just adds texture? You can see individual strands, everything. Look at that. Look at the roots. And the hair dye glitch is unpredictable, so you're going to get some colors you don't want. But, as I said, you can go back and fix those to your discretion using the hair dye tool. And that's pretty much it. I showed you how to do roots, I showed you how to ombre, and I showed you how to do the infamous hair dye glitch that I use to take my cause to the next level. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep up with me also, make sure to follow me on Twitter at DivaDaddy. Subscribe, leave a comment below, like this video if you didn't know this existed, and now you do. And now you're going to go implement it on all your cause to make them look sickening. Tell them DivaDaddy taught you. Alright guys, see ya.